book of Psalm 50, Psalm 50, verse 15, it says in there, call upon me in the time of trouble or in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me or you shall honor me. Now, to call upon, it means if you have insurmountable circumstances or situations that are going on, there the word of God says you can call upon me. It's God speaking that you can call upon me and I will deliver you. Now, let's look at trouble. Now, trouble can be in different things. Trouble, people go through different trials or tribulations. Now, when we talk about trouble, it could be maybe you are sick in your body and that's your trouble. Probably somebody is dying from a certain condition that is occurring in their body. Maybe it could be financial. It could be relational with relationships. It could be maybe marital. It could be in different situations that you're in your trouble. God says, call upon me and I will deliver you. Now, how he delivers is not your problem. He has promised that he will deliver you. Now, when we talk about deliverance, he can snatch you out of that situation or he can give you victory over that situation. He does it in his own way. Remember, God works in mysterious ways and he does the impossibles today. Now, again, in the book of Isaiah, the 43rd uh, chapter, the 19th verse, the Bible says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, and you shall know it. You will know it. You will know it. I make a way in the wilderness and in the river. Now think about God making a way in the wilderness. I don't know about you, folks. If you've been in the desert, you see what happened in there. In the desert, sometimes there's sandy dunes, there's harbors in the desert where the wind is blowing and there's dust all over. Even the Marines, when they go to places like Iraq, they're in the desert, they're like Operation Desert Storm, they would see the, the wind blowing, the whole sky changes, becomes almost like orange, you can hardly see. Sometimes it's even hard to breathe because of the condition in there. But there God says, even though it looks so like that, it's impossible to man there's no way God makes a way in the wilderness he says I make a way in the wilderness even in the river what a God we serve remember what happened to the children of Israel when they were faced with the Red Sea in front of them and the people were saying Moses Moses come on why did you bring us here take us back we could have, it was better for us to be in Egypt than to be here but he cried to God and God divided the sea. Remember, my God doesn't, breathe, doesn't build bridge on the seas. He divides them and he causes you to walk across. What a God we serve. He is still working miracles today. Is it possible for you to have a miracle in your life? No matter what you're going through? Yes, it is. In the book of Malachi, the third chapter, the 60th verse again that the Bible says, I am God, I change not. God never changes and because he never changes, that means the things he was doing a long time ago, he can still do today. What are you going through? What is your condition? Is there a situation that is impossible that maybe you've been stigmatized and stigmatized and categorized and now you're being marginalized because of the situation that you're going through and people are calling you according to the situation that you're going through. Maybe they say the man with the financial problems, the woman with marital problems, you know, the man who can't make it or whatever it is, the man with sickness. When people do that, remember, God says, I am God, I change not. That means you can call on God and he will answer. That's what the word of God says there. Do you believe in miracles? I believe in miracles and miracles happen today. The only thing you need to do is to call on God, ask and believe and trust. Now to believe is simple. For example, it's so simple. We try, somebody says, uh, it's very simple to believe God. It takes a theologians to complicate everything. Now, when I came into this glory studio today, 
I did not check on this chair. I did not move it up and check on it and to see if it was going to be supporting me that I could sit on it. I just came and I sat on it. That's some kind of a faith that I had in that chair. That chair is going to hold me up. And many of us today, we make plans like, believe that you're going to get there. God says, believe. Now the world says, no, 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 no. You got to see first and believe. But God says, if you believe, you will see. If you believe, you will see. Okay, that's what the word, the word, the world today says, show me first, then I'll believe. God says, you got to believe, then you will see. Faith is a substance for things that are hopeful. The evidence of things not seen, what is not revealed to your senses yet, you trust God. Do miracles happen? In conclusion, miracles happen today. God has not changed. He's still the same. No matter how things look like, no matter how insurmountable, no matter how it is, it's so complicated when you don't even have a sign that things are going to change around you. Because you see, God says they will. Yet I don't see it with my own eyes. According to the book of Isaiah, there it says that you will not see rain come down. Right? You will not see wind. But yet the valleys will be full of water. What does that mean? It's going to be a supernatural work of God. He says, prepare the ditches because water is going to fill the ditches. You and your cattle are going to drink as the water comes. So God wants to do miracles in your life if you believe him and you trust him. Miracles happen today. And we'll be ending up here. And as before, as we just stop or end this broadcast, I want to pray with you wherever you are, whatever circumstances that you're going through, whatever the situation is, I want you to understand that the God we serve is the God of the impossible. He's the specialist in the impossible. What is so hard for man, what confines man, does not confine God because God is a supernatural God. He does the supernatural. He does miracles. And we can trust him. And he says, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you. And he says, is there anything hard for me to do? Nothing is so hard, says God. I will do it. Father, in the name of Jesus right now, I want to thank you for my brothers and sisters, wherever they are around the world, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, in you we live and move and have our being. Lord, there's no distance in you, Lord. You're not confined to time or space or distance, Lord, wherever they are. God, in South America, in Korea, in Japan, in Africa, Lord, in India, Lord, in Greenland, Lord, in Alaska, everywhere around the world, Lord, Father, Australia, God, Father, in Europe, God, in some islands of God, in the Atlantic, or even in the Pacific Ocean, that, Lord, your power knows no distance, you're everywhere. I pray that, Lord, you touch your people, God their situation, oh God. We ask for divine intervention like you promised, Lord, because you are God and you change not. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you with thanksgiving in my heart, I pray. Amen. Now, just before I go, I want to say this to you. Remember, God is interested in you. Some belief system, they say that God is not a personal God, but God is a personal God, meaning that he is interested in what is happening in you. In fact, it's called father. Now, the word father from the Greek is the word pater, meaning the progenitor, progenitor, meaning the one who sustains life. So that means he will come and sustain you. He did not create the universe and leave it there and say, oh, you'll be running by itself like a machine. No, he sustains the universe. In fact, the universe is dependent upon him. And the same God who sustains that universe today, you see that we don't have two days snow and then one day winter, maybe uh, three days again, then we have, uh, we have rain and then four days summer. No, everything is arranged because God sustains everything. The same God that sustains the universe, the fish in the sea, the fowls of the air, 
and things that are seen and things that are, are not seen, by his mercy, by his love, he will sustain.